Okay, so today is September 9th. Wednesday, September 9th. I've officially moved to Wednesdays because too many people wanted Monday. Um, topic for the week is fitness. And I'm sorry that I'm going to go really fast in this video, but I have class in like half an hour. Well, I have to leave in half an hour. Alright, topics fitness. How does your gender identity and or physical transition affect how often you work out, what kinds of exercise you do, or how you feel about fitness in general? Okay. Number one, I don't work out. <laughs> um, like, ever. Um, when I was in high school, I played on both the boys and girls ice hockey team. So I was playing about 75 games a season. I was on the ice maybe 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, so I was really in shape, and it was awesome. Um, and I played hockey up until first semester last year. Um, and when I quit playing, it was because um, I had to I had to commit to either you know sports or schoolwork because I basically wasn't sleeping at all, and you know being on the hockey team wasn't wasn't uh, helping. <laughs> um, but originally, when I came to school, I was recruited. Like when I originally looked at Syracuse, I was recruited to play on the D1 team. But then I decided to do architecture, and architecture students are not allowed to play D1 sports, so I couldn't play on the D1 hockey team, and I was set. Ice hockey, for those of you who didn't notice. Um, but yeah, I don't really work out, number one, because I don't have time. Um, I heard that. <laughs> My roommate's laughing at me. What? I worked out once last week, but that's because it was the weekend and I wasn't working one day. Um, but I don't really work out. I should, because I have a lot of emotions that need to be released in some kind of fashion, and now that I can't cry, they just kind of stay inside. Um, what? Looking at me. <laughs> Awkward when you look at me and I'm making a video. Um, so yeah, like it's different, so different. She's a goober. Don't mind her. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't really work out. Although when I was on the hockey team and you know in high school, I was kind of religious about it. Not only was I on the ice all the time, but I would go to the gym a couple times a week, um, so I was always really fit. Um, it doesn't help that I picked up smoking after I stopped playing in high school and found out I couldn't play in college except on the club level. Um, and so now, like, I don't know, I'm just not as fit as I, I used to be. Um, I, I still consider myself in pretty good shape, uh, but, you know, there's always room for improvement. Except now, you know, oh, you can't see because it's too bright behind me. Um, yeah, that's my take on fitness. Um, really, I haven't been to the gym in a while. So, like, I wouldn't go to the gym with my binder on. That just would not work because, no, just, mm -mm. Um, most of the time I'd work on... Because I was a hockey player, I'd work on legs and abs most of the time. I kind of ignored my upper body. But now I think that, you know, I'm not on the hockey team. I would really kind of just work on upper body and, like, your core um, and back muscles and stuff like that. Fitness is important. Eating healthy is important. But being a college kid who's broke and doesn't have time to make them make themselves dinner every day makes life difficult. <laughs> Um, so, what else? What else? How often do you work out? I don't. What kind of exercises do you do? I already explained that. How do you feel about this? So that's my week 20 update, and I'm officially now on Wednesdays because 
Everybody wanted Monday. Don't ask me why. Um, but I have more time on Wednesday to make a video than I do on, on Monday, so I moved my day. Send questions, comments, or something for topics, because we need your guys' input. So anyway.